Reaper has a hidden noise reduction plugin that is very good and I only found out about this because I switched to Linux and I couldn't use my Waves plugins anymore to process my voice so I had to use all stock plugins in Reaper and previously I was really relying on the NS1 noise reduction plugin from Waves. Of course there are other noise reduction plugins but I couldn't find any good one that is compatible with Linux. So what's that plugin you may ask? It's called Reaffer and it's this one. I'll create a new track in Reaper, go to the effects and just search for Rhea fur and fur stands for finite impulse response and it's a FFT based plugin means fast Fourier transform if you don't know what these words mean it doesn't matter you can still use the plugin this plugin can do many things first of all it can be a linear phase EQ and it could also be a gate based on frequencies and could compress frequencies like soothe something similar to that and it can do convolution and last mode is the subtract and that's why what I'm gonna show you in this video. So let's choose the mode subtract. And by the way, I'm using it right now on my voice. If I turn it off, you can hear a little bit of noise. I'll turn it back on. It's much cleaner now. I'll change the edit mode. Instead of points, I want it to be precise. So you can do something like this. You can literally draw whatever you want. And the FFT size is gonna be just 1024 samples because the more you increase this the more definition you'll have you can see right here but it's gonna take a lot more time in terms of latency so if i look at the effects on this track you can see that's 32,000 samples that's two-thirds of a second that's a lot of time so i'll reduce it to 1024 that's about 21 milliseconds that's still not real time it has latency but it's not that much and i'll keep it at best quality now this is how you get the noise profile to subtract it from the main signal click on automatically build noise profile i'll turn it off and turn it on again and i'll stay quiet for a moment just to pick up the ambient noise and I turned it off. Now you can see it's very low. It looks like it's not picking up anything, but it actually is. So let's see more of the bottom of the graph. I'll go here and type minus 120 instead of minus 90. And now I can see more of the quiet stuff. And this is the noise profile and you can just use that and call it a day. But you might notice that this is doing a little bit too much. So what I will do is I'll lower this a little bit. So it's subtracting less signal it's not as aggressive and to do that i'll just hold the control key or command on mac and grab the curve and turn it down and i don't want it to be subtracting anything from the lower frequencies because the noise that i am concerned about is all in the high frequency hiss and stuff like that so from 3k and down i can just click on the mouse and drag like this to draw the curve and basically I'm telling it don't do anything with that just look at what exists here and subtract from it you can see the plugin that I'm using on my voice right now in real time this is the profile I don't have anything going on below so just whatever you get from the automatic building of the noise just turn it down a little bit afterward I'll do that again I'll grab it from here remove all this and hold control or command and Pull this down a little bit i can clean it up a little bit more and now all the focus of the noise reduction is in these frequencies now this is not the only thing i'm also using an expander and let me tell you something i thought there wasn't a good expander in reaper and i tried using the gate but it wasn't really doing what i wanted it to do then i found this little thing called auto expander and i didn't think any automatic effect will do anything for me right i was wrong so let me show you what i'm doing here the threshold is how loud the signal should be to pass through the expander and below that it will just get silent so in a situation like this where i'm talking into the microphone very close and very intentionally i have a threshold quite high at minus 35 db for a live situation like a live stream at church i'll have it down at minus 50 because maybe the person is getting far from the microphone i don't want to cut off their words just because threshold is too high threshold is something you will be playing with ratio all the way up gain don't touch it knee hard knee detector input normal side chain means you need another channel to be triggering the expander we're not doing that right now it's just listening to the signal that is on this track and now the most important thing is detection set it to rms instead of peak peak will give you this much more choppy sound that sounds kind of distracting and not very pleasant if you set it to rms it sounds really natural i'll shut up right now so you can see it's not cutting off my words and even if i kind of speak more quietly I'll turn it off. 
even if the breaths come through a little bit, they are not as annoying as not having anything at all. If I breathe. So this noise reduction reaffirm plugin with the expander are a killer combination. This is without them, a lot more noisy, distracting. You can hear background hiss. This is with them, a lot cleaner. I think I actually prefer that to what I was doing with Waves. And I'll just show you the rest of the plugins. I'm using the EQ, stock EQ from Reaper. Yeah, EQ and the DSer also. I'm using two DSers because my S's are really harsh. And I'm using a Vocal Rider plugin that I made. And it's really good. I actually prefer it to the Waves Vocal Rider. So I'm speaking, it will reduce my voice or turn it up. I set it right now in the setting to just reduce my voice when it gets louder than what I want it to be. This is just gain. It's not doing any processing. It's just turning it down so that when it arrives to the limiter, it's a lot more consistent and I'll not have any clamping or uneven sound. I'll leave a link in the description. You can find instructions on how to install my scripts and effects. If it didn't show up immediately, you can right click in the effects and scan for new plugins and it will definitely show up. Reaper is great. Seriously, the more I use it, the more I'm amazed by how many great plugins there are in it. And by the way on linux reaper has even more plugins that just come with it and one of them is reverb it's called dragonfly and it sounds incredible just like the valhalla supermassive or even better the valhalla supermassive was like my favorite reverb and i can't compare anything else to it this i think it beats it i'm really happy with it so i guess if you ever got the idea of using linux but you're afraid you're not gonna have the necessary plugins to do your work there are plenty of very good plugins it just looks a little bit different and you have to learn how to use them but what you can do with them you can do a lot everything you can do with other plugins you can do with things that are available on linux if you learned something found this video helpful hit the like button click on the video on the screen right now and i'll see you there